Hey everybody, it's Lon Seiben and we're checking out the Sennheiser AVX wireless microphone system today. This came in through the Amazon Vine program for me to review. Now this is designed for video creators and uh, what's nice about it is that it's also designed for video creators like me who have no crew. So I usually set things up, get in front of the camera, do my thing and then hope it all comes out in the end. And a lot of wireless systems often require you to set the frequencies of your microphones ahead of time and then if interference gets introduced midstream, you're kind of out of luck. What's nice about how this this works is that uh, the receiver unit here is constantly monitoring the environment and will switch frequencies automatically uh, without any real detectable uh, things showing up on the audio track itself. So it's very good at being proactive about uh, continually finding the best frequencies to operate under and it sounds great too. It's completely digital. In fact, the connection from the microphones to this are encrypted and it's only got about 19 milliseconds of latency. So you really shouldn't have any issues with uh, syncing up audio either. Now in this kit, there's a couple different ways to configure it. Uh, you get the transmitter, the body pack transmitter here, along with a lavalier mic. This is the same lavalier that I use here on the channel. So I'm a big fan of Sennheiser stuff already. Uh, and you get a wireless stick mic as well. The uh, head on it is replaceable. So this is the uh, omnidirectional head. They also have a cardioid head available too. So if you're in noisy environments and don't want uh, to pick up a lot of things around you, you can get the cardioid head, which is more directional, which is probably better for a noisier environment. I'm gonna try to get the cardioid version in so we can do a comparison of the the two. Uh, and you also get the receiver unit here also. Now this kit, as you see it, uh, is about $1,300. So this is professional gear here. So you're going to pay a little bit more, uh, but it will work consistently and it's very well built also. The body pack here is uh, mostly metal, uh, as is the microphone and the receiver here. Now you can't use both microphones at the same time with the receiver. So if you want to uh, add an additional uh, audio track in with one of the other microphones, you'll need to buy another receiver for about $500. In the United States, you can have about eight of these things operating simultaneously. In Europe, you can have 12. The reason is, is that in Europe, they can use a few more frequencies than uh, Sennheiser is permitted to use here in the United States. So you do have a few more frequencies available to you when you are uh, in other countries outside of the US. Now, the way this works is that you turn this on and then pair it up with one of these two microphones. The pairing process is very similar to what you would have with a Bluetooth device or a game controller or something like that. Really simple to get started. And it will connect to your camera via an XLR adapter. So if you have a pro level camcorder, you already got one of these plugs on there. Uh, pop it in there like you can see on my Sony camera here and you are good to go. Now, if you don't have a plug like this, they do give you an adapter uh, in the box. So you can just plug this adapter in and you'll get one of these little uh, eighth inch uh, connectors, which is what most consumer grade camcorders have on there. So you can just plug uh, that in there, plug this into there, and then they even give you a little shoe adapter here too to mount the receiver on uh, your camera. So you can basically get the same uh, functionality you would have with a pro level camera with a more consumer driven camera. Uh, then once you're up and running, it will pretty much work. And what will happen is that this will continually look uh, at the environment and make sure that nothing is uh, encroaching on your frequencies. If it does, it will switch automatically and you really don't even hear uh, anything going awry on your production. It really is uh, pretty seamless on how it works. And you'll see an audio sample of that uh, in a second when I step outside with it. And this operates at 1.9 gigahertz, which is not a frequency used often by modern consumer electronics. So most of our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapters are at 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. Uh, there are some uh, cordless phones, not cell phones, but cordless phones that uh, operate in this frequency band. But again, this thing's smart enough to know which of those frequencies are in use and it will uh, route around those essentially. So it is pretty smart at uh, finding the best signal it can. So I don't think you're gonna have too many problems with this unless there's a ton of people all in the same place using this exact same system. So uh, pretty good on that. Now each of the components in the kit comes with a lithium rechargeable battery. Uh, the weakest one in the kit is probably the receiver. So you only get about four or five hours out of the battery, uh, but it does have a USB connector on the back here. So you can plug in any USB power source, including some of those rechargeable cell phone batteries that you might use, those big external batteries. Uh, so you can very inexpensively uh, offset its battery life with something bigger for not a lot of money. So I think that's a pretty uh, helpful feature there. Uh, both the microphones will go for about 15 hours or so. So you'll definitely get more life out of the uh, microphones. They both have a rechargeable lithium battery packs that also charge via USB. They only give you one USB charging adapter in the box, but of course you can get one of those multi-taps uh, and charge up everything simultaneously with one of those. Any USB power source uh, will charge all of these devices. 
devices. All right, so now it's time for a little field test. What I did is I set my video camera up in a window, uh, connected the AVX to the camera, and of course linked up my uh, stick mic here, and then I took a walk around my yard. So in this first test, I'm gonna walk about uh, 220 feet to the edge of my property. That's 220 feet or 67 meters or so away from the camera, but it is line of sight through a window, and you can hear how it sounds and uh, how far we went, so check it out. All right, so I made it to the end of my yard and I still have signal, about a bar or two on the uh, indicator here, but it is still pretty good. I can wave to the camera uh, all the way back in the house there. So I think if you have good line of sight, uh, this is going to go a long ways. I'm gonna do a little bit more walking and see how well it does uh, when we have some walls and other things in the way. All right, so now I'm actually at the other end of my house. So the entire house is in between uh, me and the receiver, and I'm still getting at least, uh, looks like about a signal bar or two over here as well. Uh, so again, really good range, even through walls too. I'm very impressed with this. So now I'm in Connecticut, so there's some ideal circumstances here in the sense that I don't have a lot of things around me to interfere with uh, the signal, but it gives you an idea in a perfect world uh, what you can expect out of this thing. And I think for most shoots, uh, it's going to do just fine. I also tested the body pack out with that same test. So I went out again, repaired it up with the receiver here and walked around my entire property, did the exact same thing I did with the stick microphone. It was able to hold its signal the entire time as well, uh, both strapped to me as well as uh, picking it up and looking at it a few times too. So I don't think you're gonna have any issues. Again, depending on how your talent wears it and what their uh, configuration is, uh, it might vary, but I think you'll see about the same performance out of the stick mic uh, that you will out of the body pack. So that is the Sennheiser AVX system. I really like it for its simplicity, especially for people like me who don't want to futz around with stuff. You just want it to work. The only setting there is, is the audio output uh, uh, level here. So the AF out button here, you can adjust in uh, 10 dB increments. So here it's at 30 dBs and you can go down to 20 uh, to 10 and then back to zero. That's the only thing you really need to set beyond the pairing. Uh, the microphone on the stick end is even simpler. It's just a power switch here and a pairing button. There isn't even a mute switch on this mic. Uh, but on the, the body pack, you do have a mute switch here that you can flick over to mute uh, if you want to uh, have someone take a break and not have the whole world hear them. Uh, just a quick flick of the switch here will put it into mute, but that is all there is to configure on this. Otherwise, uh, very simple to set up. So it's definitely a premium product. This is a professional grade kind of uh, piece of gear, uh, but I think if you're getting serious about your production, you're gonna want something that works without having to uh, continually lose good takes to uh, faulty hardware or interference. And the fact that this can continually find uh, a signal that works without you having to be any, any part involved in that uh, process of determining the best frequency to choose, I think is a really good uh, thing to have, especially if you don't have people to help you out in the field. So I can definitely recommend this thing. It is a, an investment, but I think any investment in making your uh, workflow better is a good one to make. This is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.